lot of us. weeks. So let me give you guys a bump update. 34 weeks. We have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I've been using the Nema body oil and the Desi Skin baby balm on my tummy and it is amazing. Those are my two wonders that I've been using this whole pregnancy. Uh, we have a um, doctor's appointment tomorrow, 34 week appointment, last appointment before we go into our weekly appointments and weekly appointments mean cervical checks. So I'm hoping that he does come when his sister came because I don't want to get more than one cervical check. Granted it wasn't bad because I was already dilated. So it's not as uncomfortable if you're already dilated. Like I was already like two centimeters dilated and she could feel Tyler's head when I went for my first cervical check. So I'm hoping he follows suit because if you're not dilated, they are very uncomfortable. Um, but 36 week appointment, I will also be getting my last ultrasound. They'll be measuring to see how big he is and how much he weighs and seeing if he's still head down. And I know for sure he's still head down because the hiccups he gets every single day, very uncomfortable feeling. And I have the worst lightning crotch getting in the shower um, but yeah, it's scary to think that if he falls suit with his sister, that in two weeks, in two days, we could have a newborn right beside us. And we like low key are not prepared, but I'm trying not to stress about it because no point in stressing, everything will work itself out and Tardy said whatever we don't get gifted we're just gonna get for him so he's gonna be covered either way but craving ice cream so I'm gonna get some ice cream and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my appointment I've never seen it say Delta 1 sweets so I'm like what is this are we gonna How did I have a breakfast of eggs and now he has hiccups? I just wanna go to sleep. It's 10.45 and I have to be up but 7.30. Guys, it makes no sense that I literally woke up at 7.30, left at 8 o'clock on the dot and made coffee and I'm still late. I'm still late, it's 9.15. It's still late. You already know what time it is. Done at the doctor's. He's, she said we're measuring 35 weeks, so one week ahead. <laughs> but better only one week ahead than like three, right? Like I knew he was he was he was growing in there. He's a little bit chunky, but we don't want him to get too chunky. And I think that's what happened with Tyler is that she was measuring ahead, and so she came out early. But. 36 week appointment in two weeks and that's when we get our ultrasound and we're really gonna get to get a good look at him before before labor and delivery and get our first cervical check so everything looking good she just said I'm a little bit dehydrated but I literally had coffee and no water before my appointment so <laughs> I need to return something to Whole Foods again from Amazon and go to Ikea to pick up some shelving because we need to work on the playroom slash office slash guest room because we're slowly running out of time my sister's gonna be here for thanksgiving and it's an absolute atrocious mess and there's stuff everywhere so i'm gonna pick up that oh my gosh my phone but i'm gonna have to call taji to tell him that amount so he can send me money first <laughs> This is what happens when I leave. It's just 
a lot, but we're gonna conquer it. So this is why we got the organizers because there's just so much that needs to be organized. And this room is basically going to function as office, guest room, slash Taji's like man cave-ish. So we need to start condensing things in quickly. So we got the Calyx Cube Organizer um, for Tyler's Toys because essentially this closet is going to be like storage on storage on storage. So organizer is right here. And then I think I'm going to get like the Alex drawer desk to go in here. And we're obviously gonna change these doors eventually. And then like knock this down or get another cube storage to go on top. But yeah, it's just gonna be storage on storage. Don't know where these large toys are gonna go, but we'll figure that out another day. I'm I don't care physically no pain until you catch a charlie horse in your sleep and while you're catching a charlie horse in your sleep you get a contraction but mostly the charlie horse like that hurts so bad i can't even get up i can't get up baby it hurts so bad Go get some new it hurts much my leg it hurts she loves me. Like I can still feel it in my leg. And it's like if I try and stand up, it is the worst pain. I can't even straighten up my leg. I can't straighten up my knee. I just, oh. And you know, you only catch Charlie horses if you're dehydrated, so I should have drank more water. But the large Chick fil A lemonade last night was just Hi. calling my name. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, this isn't mine, that's daddy's. I don't like sweet tea. Thank you, though, baby. Hi, guys. Doing my daily lay down. It's quiet, calm, dark, gloomy in the house which is calling me to take a nap. And ever since I had that Braxton Hicks this morning, I've been feeling the worst. When I say the worst, the worst pressure. And I'm just like, yeah, I say I could have a baby in two weeks. Da, da, da. But when I sit and think about I could have a baby, I could be having a baby in two weeks, then I start freaking out. Cause I'm like, I should not be feeling pressure down there right now. Unless he's dropping or unless he's coming soon. And that's just, it's just kind of scary to think about. Um, but yeah, the pressure is tremendous. Like if I'm walking, it feels like he's gonna fall out at any time. If I'm using the bathroom, he's falling out. Like that's literally what it feels like. And it's, it's not the best sensation to feel, honestly. So I'm gonna try and get, like take a quick nap while Tyler's still sleeping. He is moving around right now. I guess he hears me talking about him. Um, but yeah. It's crazy to think about. And I started trying to put up this wallpaper. I put it on upside down because the directions weren't that clear of where the number should be. And apparently the numbered panel should be at the top and not the bottom. But yeah, so they're sending me new wallpaper because it was like a collaboration. So hopefully they ship that off soon. His dresser just came back in stock. So I'm gonna send that to his dad so he can buy that. Um, 
And I'm trying to think of things that need to be done around the house before he gets here. Like now I'm contemplating, do I need to start decorating for Christmas now? Because he could fall out at any moment. Like I really have no idea. But I'm really going to try and take a nap because this pressure is just, it's just not it. It's not the vibe. <laughs> guys happy saturday i haven't talked to you guys we've been running errands and i desperately need coffee and we're about to try dutch bros i've never tried dutch bros before their holiday drinks are insane they have a hazelnut truffle mocha i don't know what i want to get oh my gosh this is going to stress me out yes yes please thank you you two I got the hazelnut truffle mocha with extra caramel drizzle iced. I got a small because I don't know if I'm going to like it. Oh my gosh, that is really, that is really good. Like that is really good. Okay, Dutch Bros snapped with that one. Okay, I can see why everyone wants this drink. This is really good. It's a little bit more mocha and chocolatey than I would like, but I guarantee you it hot. It probably tastes so good. The house is clean. My daughter is watching Frozen. And you would think me lighting a candle. It's smelling so good and fresh in here. Me knowing I did my domestic duty as a mom and cleaned the house today. And grocery shop to ran errands that I would sit my 35 week pregnant butt down. But no, what is nesting me doing? My kid's bathroom, okay? I haven't really talked about this on here because it was a fail. But as you can see in the back, I tried to do like um like the DIY Roman clay-ish texture but lime washy. And from like a bar, it looks cute. She's cute, but up close, she's a mess. Like she's literally a mess. And I physically just can't look at this anymore. So we're gonna work on it. And so if you have been subscribed to me for a while, then you know in our first apartment when we first moved to Texas, I did wallpaper in our master bedroom and I absolutely loved it. So. I got some more and we're gonna start it because I obviously just can't sit my butt down. <laughs> I just can't. And he's sleeping, so it's the perfect time to start. I'm gonna speed through this wallpaper because Taji's gonna be home in like 20 minutes and he's gonna tell me to sit down somewhere. Um, but if you wanted to know how strong it is, that's two layers of paint. That's how strong this is. So am I worried about putting this up in the bathroom? Absolutely not. I'm not worried, not one bit. <sighs> in the bed, end of the day. This week's pregnancy symptom has literally been like my, like towards the end of the day, my skin is so dry and irritated and itchy. It feels like a thousand bugs are crawling on me and I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> And I've heard it happening at the beginning of pregnancy, but never towards the end. But I guess it's because my skin is trying to stretch and now accommodate for my now large son late. So it's like my legs, my stomach, my back, my boobs will be so irritated and itchy. And it's, it's just very, very annoying. We did not finish the wallpaper. We're going to finish Tyler's room. Well, not Tyler's bathroom anymore. The kids' bathroom tomorrow. And that's probably all I'm going to be able to do before I give birth. Um, because I'm very indecisive on what new vanity I want in there and what new mirror and what new sconce I want to put in there. So it's literally just probably going to stay like that. Unless I find like, I have an idea of a mirror. I kind of want like an arched mirror in there, 
but I don't know if I'm gonna get it before I give birth so who knows um and then I also need to get my like the guest bedroom bathroom ready for my sister because she's gonna be spending Thanksgiving with us which is in 12 days which means I could I'm gonna be 36 plus 5 in 12 days and could potentially give birth in 12 days that's sick but yeah um that's gonna be tomorrow's mini project and our big project is getting the closets done because we want like a custom built-in kind of closet but don't want to spend custom built-in money because essentially they're very easy to do ourselves so we're gonna do that um because there's boxes everywhere which you guys can probably see in the back because there were no closet rods no closet shelving nothing in any of the closets and it's crazy because everybody talks about wanting a new build or a renovated house and the renovated and new build houses literally give you the most trouble because they're literally thrown together like that's how our townhouse was it was a new build and it literally was like so many things happening all the time like you could see that they literally just rushed through but it's okay because it's a permanent house and it's just gonna get demoed anyways <laughs> You like ketchup on your eggs? Okay. We ain't never had eggs. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, eggs give you the meaty goodness. You're gross. Then the ketchup gives you the salty with a uh, tap of sweetness. Ketchup is not sweet. It's just more meatier. More delicious in there. It was. More <laughs> filling in there. <laughs> this is like my getting ready bathroom now, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Not gonna lie to you, but this is like the fourth bedroom. So you, changing out the mirror really just changed up the game. It really switched up the game. The paint, it really changed it. But I'm out of breath. My son today has been so active. Like, when we were waiting for a door dash to be delivered, his knee, I saw his knee come across and I literally jumped. I wish I would have had my camera so I could have shown you guys, but it literally startled me. He's been so active and I've literally felt like I've been leaking all day. Don't know what that's about because <laughs> I need to make it to 36 weeks so we can see how big he is, what he's doing, his measurements, and a 3D ultrasound. So, son, I need you to stay in another week and a half. Because we got some stuff to do. But ending this week's vlog with a 35 week, 34 week bump date. Oh my gosh, I gotta do the Kylie Jenner sound before I forget. So I'm um, 34 weeks today. Only got a month left. 